So I'm just sat here waiting to get into Sydney Motorsport Park, which when I was a kid was called Eastern Creek. And I just thought I would show you something because this is the first circuit I would have ever been to. And when we drive in, you drive in along this road here and the circuit when it's live has got motorcycles coming over this rise and then into this corner here which is turn four and then around here to turn five and then up over that hill to what was six and seven so for me as a young kid uh driving in here and looking at the circuit like a beautiful ribbon of tarmac and to me it looked like motorcycles looked like swooping birds through this section of uh of track it was pretty um i guess instrumental to uh to me in going racing so for those that don't know the modern history of racing eastern creek was the would host the 500 grand prix every year and uh from 89 was the last time it was in phillip island and then 95 it went uh, was the last race here and it went back to Phillip Island and if you remember in 95 Mick Doohan and Alex Creville were teammates and they had a crash um, on the last lap in turn nine and uh, I think um, Caparossi went on to to win so turn nine is just over there where that um, power uh, tower is. So that was the position. And now let me correct myself. It was 96 was the last uh, year that the 500 Grand Prix come to Eastern Creek and 97 was the first year it went back to Phillip Island and stayed there since. So here at Sydney Motorsport Park, the night racing, as you can see all the lights on, has just come to an end. And I've got a, took away a couple of wins, which was always good. And um, I thought I'd just show you a little bit around, I'll flip the camera, around uh, the environment. That's turn one at uh, Sydney Motorsports Park. So the garages, obviously pit lane so good uh, good facility and uh, nice atmosphere for riding bikes around so I'm here again at Sydney Motorsports Park I'll just give you a quick look around pit lane as you've seen last week um, I don't know if it was my best idea but I've just done a full uh, track day here during the daytime and now we're getting ready for the evening events so uh, let's see how this weekend goes. In terms of why you're here, let's start with that. What's the purpose of you being here tonight? Um, on a selfish note, I feel like the, the off season for the British Superbikes is, is, is a bit long. You know, there's um, uh, you know when you get back to the beginning of the season, you know you feel a bit rusty, and you know you need a few days to get back up to speed, and then. You know, those few days are critical to set the bike up because you know between the weather being no good to race and the start of the season is quite narrow in the UK so you know you don't often get a lot of good lap time good laps in before the start of the season so I feel like you know maybe I needed to do something a bit different and you know being home in Australia gives me the perfect opportunity to ride in our summer and then St George has this night series 
uh, Sydney Motorsport Park is nearby to my um, home where I've grown up and uh, it's been a track I've always been fond of and to ride it under nights reminds me of the old Supercross days when I was a kid growing up in the, from the motocross side and then moving over to the road racing so um, yeah, it's just a combination of all things and you know if, um, if it can bring a bit of um, press and coverage to St George uh, Club and the series then even better. A couple of questions. St George putting the night race on. Um, how do you how do you feel about the concept of night racing and the coolness of the the air and stuff? How do you feel that you've uh, performed for it? Well, I mean, traditionally this time this month of the year would be normally quite warm. You wouldn't have to worry. But um, after coming from the UK, this is warm in comparison to some of the days and and the mist and, and condition kind of in a, in a familiar zone. So um, yeah, I'm just enjoying the the atmosphere that the the night. You know what I mean, people seem to, um, I don't know, uh, embrace the night uh, events really yeah. well. No, beautiful, mate. And you, you spoke about the track, so coming from obviously pretty super bikes and doing some Norwest and, and different road racing, how, how does the track compare to, to the races you, or the tracks you're normally racing on back over in the UK? And yeah, like Donington Park, you know what I mean? It's like a proper international um, track, a pro international standard track in Britain. But then it doesn't really compare in any way to somewhere like Cadwell Park or Alton Park because they're more um, like historic uh, British tracks and they're very narrow, um, very undulating and um, the track surface is often changing. You go one bit smooth, the next bit's old and rough and coarse and you know there's loads of um, stones that have left the surface so the, the surface conditions change a lot. So um, it's not very easy to compare to those specific specific circuits, but um, you know, at the end of the day, I try and um, simplify things. And it's tarmac and corners, so try and go around them quick. And that's that. It's trying to get the best for everybody. Um, Nathan raced himself. Um, I believe he's come up to the, the that hard decision of, of hanging up the leathers for himself, but wants to stay in racing, and I think that's a good thing. Um, I believe he wants to um, continue the team and bring young riders through. And I think that's a, that's a good thing too. And I was in a position where, you know, I'm in my off season from the UK, so I want to get some, um, stay riding. You know, the season, the off season is too long not to, not to ride. So and I normally do like cycling, mountain biking, motocross, but it's not the same as, as being on a, on a bike. And um, even if I do like practice days, it's not really the same as racing. Racing is the best form of, uh, of practice. So. When the idea of riding the St George um, night series uh, in summer uh, was introduced to me, I was like really wanted to get involved. But um, so yeah, I collaborated with um, with Nathan. Um, brings a bit of uh, you know exposure to his team and what he wants to do, and then also offers me a position to to ride. And then um, you know St George uh, are, are enjoying having um, top name riders. Hopefully it brings a few more. You know, last week it was um, me, me Max Alpha and, and Lachlan Epis um, racing by the bar, and then this weekend the level got lifted and um, Glenn Allen's uh, Allen's here this weekend. So um, hopefully as the the, the, the rounds go on, maybe some more people will come along and um, I'll have to you know, get a bit sharp. I was going to ask you a quick question about racing with Glenn. What's it like racing with a mate out there? You've obviously got a lot of trust and a lot of faith in each other, but uh, is it hard not to put that hard move on him if it's required because he's a mate, or do you just race no, that I think that? sometimes you put a harder move on a mate than you would on an enemy, but... Um, yeah, like we uh, we went to school together, and then we raced motocross together, and then we worked um, in um, suspension at Terry Hayes together, and then we raced uh, Australian Championship. So there's been a long history of um, Glenn and I um, battling each other and fighting for position. So it just feels like old times, really. And, and I'm really I really enjoyed um, you know the the, the fun and the, and the battle and the hard passes. It was. It was good. Long supporting series for Australian motorcyclists. Thanks for what you do for us. No, thank you. Uh, I'm glad, glad to be here. Um, you know, I'm trying 
you know, it's not a lot I can do, but if it, if there's, uh, if it builds the, the racing in Australia, then, uh, then, I, then I'm pleased. Okay, you brought the, the profile of this board up. I've never seen the place they've been in on the garage roof. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I was really pleased. Yeah, mate, I, I'm, in all sincerity, it's, uh, you've got a lot of credit to take for what's happened over here in the last few nights. So, and, uh, Thank you. Mate, hope you have a great Christmas. Hey everyone, just finished race three. Uh, I got um, qualified uh, second today behind Glen Allerton. And then I uh, got second in race one. I was leading, but the race got uh, red flagged. So it went back to the uh, point of the previous lap where I was in second. So uh, that was the first race. And the next two, I uh, joyfully won. So very pleased with that. Um, we did try and get some, we had a camera on the front of the bike we did try and uh, get some onboard footage, but uh, Facebook Live um, let us down, technical glitch issue. But uh, we'll endeavour to get some more footage when we're next racing, which probably which won't be until uh, January now. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll update you with other things until then.